And that is what it sounds like. This is speed number two. Oh, speed number three. Now you're cooking with gas. Just saying. Anyways, let me go ahead and turn it off real quick. The way you shut it off is just press and hold. And then it'll shut off entirely. But anyways, the old coot here coming at you with another exciting video. This is my smile, the LP221 cordless oral irrigator. There's no water in here on purpose because otherwise I couldn't do this video. Water would just be squirting all over the place. Bad idea. Okay, so let me show you all what this is for. It's kind of like one of these that you don't have to plug in. It's basically cordless, it's rechargeable. You can take this with you on a trip. Let's say you're a collegiate athlete and you're traveling out of the city or out of the state or out of the country, whatever the case may be, but you still want that good clean teeth, right? Fresh feeling, just saying. What I would do is I would floss first. So make sure you floss your teeth. Then go ahead, fill this up with water, use this on your teeth to get that extra debris in there that might be in there out and then go ahead and brush your teeth regularly, right? Just saying. So anyways, let's get back to the product. So here's basically what it looks like. This part, like there's a little twist thing and then this part comes off. I'll show you all what that looks like. So there's a little uh, irrigation or there's a little device in here that basically draws the water up inside of the motor, which then go ahead, which then goes ahead and goes through the whole system and pumps it out so that you can get those areas right between between your teeth right there just saying in case you needed to you know you get you get the idea right so once you fill up this bottom part with water you put this on and i believe you'll find like the right groove there it is and then just go ahead and give it a, a twist clockwise let's see if i can do this that's that's by the way where you charge it but what you do is you get it on there it'll click in there it goes and then just give it a twist and then the bottom part is now connected to the top part. You get the idea. When traveling, I would definitely empty out the contents, right? Make sure you, you dump all the water out, let it air dry a little bit so that way it's just completely dry before traveling with it. You may also want to put it into its little travel bag, which it comes with. And look at all these accessories that come with it. So you have different attachments that kind of do different things, right? You've got, you've got this one, like if you want to get like your gums, right? Like you want to isolate maybe one or two teeth. Then you've got like a nozzle. There's a little more finer brush. There's another nozzle. There's another one of these that has like a more finer brush. You kind of get the idea of what's happening here, right? And that's all the attachments. The way that you undo those is you press this button, bloop, and then the part will come out. Let's so this with one hand. It's hard to do with one hand, but basically when you push that button, this whole thing will come out. There we go. There it is. And this whole thing comes out. So put it back in again. You basically just push it in and you hear a click and there you go. And now you know that it's in there and you kind of, you kind of get the idea what's happening. So with that being said, let's go through the functions again. So basically to turn it on, you just press and hold this for a second. The unit will come on. It's letting me know that I have 75% battery. It's letting me know that the temperature is 26 Celsius. And then there in the instruction manual, which I'll show you in a second, it's right there. You can adjust all this. You can adjust whether this says Fahrenheit or Celsius, kind of get the idea. And then here's your, here's your power strength. So this would be like two. I'm pressing the down arrow, right? Or the, or the minus sign to get it to go lower. That's the normal setting. M would be if you want to, if you want it like strong or you want it pulse, you want it like the mode, how you want it. You want it soft. You want it normal. You want it strong. In all ways, shapes, and forms, one of these is far more superior than the little plug-in one that I have over here. So I may actually switch to using this full-time and put this on the back burner. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, for traveling, camping, backpacking, which is originally what I got this for, and just being one of those gadget kids at, you know, who's the coolest kid at the campsite for having the best gadgets? I mean, this takes the cake. Other than like an automatic espresso machine, just say, which, by the way, this helps to get that espresso out between your teeth whenever you're drinking coffee or those hot chocolate, you know, at a campsite. Just saying, just saying. Anyways, with that being said, to so to turn it on as you press and hold, and there's an automatic shutoff feature as you just saw. But basically then to turn the unit on, it's just one press. That's the strong mode. You kind of get the idea. And then to turn it off is press it again. And then to shut it off entirely, if you don't want to deal with the auto shut off, is just press and hold and it'll automatically shut off. So that's pretty cool. And then let's try to go through the modes. Let's see if it'll let me. So let me turn it on again. Press and hold. So now let me try to change the mode. Let's go to like pulse. How cool is that? Let's change the mode again. Let's see if it, they're soft. 
There's normal. There's strong. And then you can obviously go stronger, right? There would be the pulse. And you can obviously lower the intensity, right? So kind of get the idea. And then there's the soft mode again. You can kind of bring that up. Anyways, you get the idea. You get the idea. And like I said, let me show you the instructional manual so you can kind of see. Well, let me shut it off first. So I'm going to press and hold. That's going to turn it off. Okay, there you go. And then let me show you all the, the owner's manual, which is pretty, you know, it's a pretty thick read, you know. So check that out. You kind of see what's going on there. But you kind of get a sense of what's going on, right? You have a light sanitizer. You have a user manual. You know, it's kind of showing you everything that's in there. There's just a quick sample of what's in there, reduce the risk of electrocution. Let's get to the good stuff here, right? So obviously in different languages, I think that's why the manual is so thick because it's, it's bringing it to you in like different languages. But there would basically be how you would plug it in. You kind of get the idea and it does come with the uh, USB-C cable. That's what it is, USB-C. So basically you would plug this into your, you know, whether you charge a cell phone or whatever device you have, or sometimes sometimes now the new outlets, you can just plug them right into the outlet itself in the wall or whatever. But anyways, there's that part. And then the charging port is back here, remember? So basically you lift and pull, pretty easy to take off. Make sure that when you're using this device, you put this back on and you click this rubber piece in so that it creates a seal again so that no water can get in there. Because when you're using this, the water really does go all over the place. So make sure, you know, you're taking your time with that. And as mentioned before, when you want to take the attachment out and you want to replace, you just basically push this button here, which is like on the back side. Remember, the display was over here, right? Let's turn it on again so you can see the display is there. I'm going to shut it off, but on the back side, that's basically what you press. This part comes out. You can replace it. You can sanitize these. You can clean these. You know, you kind of get the idea what's going on there. And then just flipping through the different modes. Read the owner's manual. It takes a little bit of time, but read the owner's manual. You know, the pages in whatever language you're using this in. I think whatever language this is, I'm sure you kind of know yourselves. This looks like French maybe. Then there's, this is the English section, which is kind of like right smack in the middle, pretty much. But it's telling you strong, press the plus button, you know, for the, all the stuff. Time off, right, 120 seconds of UV, normal. You'll kind of get a sense of what's going on once you read the owner's manual. Fill it up with water, it's telling you that. And then it's telling you basically how to go ahead and use the product. You know, you kind of get the idea there. I do like the pictures. Pretty intuitive, you know, pretty easy to understand, you know, and kind of get your your bearings and that kind of stuff. There's the information if you want to see the PSI, the pressure settings, all that other kind of stuff, the notes. But anyways, you get the idea. Here's what the box looks like. So if you want to go ahead and take a look, my smile LP221 cordless oral irrigator, right? Is that the technical terminology? I guess deep teeth cleaning, hygienic flossing, you kind of get the idea. And then it's showing you all the benefits, right? So it removes 99.9% .9 of the plaque. Very important. My dentist, you know, my hygienist love me because I floss and brush my teeth at least three times a day. Basically, after every single meal is when I brush and floss and all that good stuff. There's my smile. There you go. Made in China. What isn't these days? Just saying distributed by what is that? Uh, my Smile Oral Care Inc. Rancho Cucamonga. Love Rancho. Sixth and Archibald. There used to be a vineyard there and now it's like a bunch of condos. But Sixth and Archibald, I remember going there to buy grapes to make wine with, especially Syrah. Oh, they had some good ones, which is another reason just saying why you might want to, you know, to get the wine out between, between the teeth, like get that wine, you know, in case before you, you get the idea. Anyways, floss first, use the My Smile oral irrigator, right? And then go ahead and brush your teeth like normal. Right now at this moment in time, I'm using the Philips Sonicare in case you were curious with these, this is the W, replacement heads Costco sells them I'll put a link down below in the description as well if you're not if you're not near Costco or whatever you kind of get the idea and speaking of links to products I will put a link to this down there below in the description make sure to check that out I'll also put a link on the Amazon storefront that I have the store ID whatever that thing's called so that'll be down there make sure to hit the like button hit the subscribe button this video is getting way too long I'm the old goot and I'll catch you all in the next exciting video review